Like most of us, social media has taken over my life. So I wake up and I'm normally on the gram at night to wind down after I've tucked my kids in and I say my prayers, I'm normally back on the gram and it's become just a part of who we are. But sometimes we go too far. Who are you on social media is not who you are in real life. And even if it is, you have to make sure that you keep it in a way that is clean, consistent, and something that you wouldn't mind anyone taking a look at. So whether that's your friends, whether that's your partner, whether that's your employer, just know that whenever people get to know you, we are now in a new environment where the first thing we do is do a social media scrub. So for me, now that I'm in a position to hire and employ people all the time, the minute I see a resume or I'm in the middle of an interview, what do I do? Quick search, a few seconds later, I'm on their Instagram, I'm on their LinkedIn page, I'm on their Twitter page just to see who you really are. And so whether that person that you portray online is or is not you, it leaves a lasting impression. So often, whenever you meet someone in life, whether that's a new friend, whether it's someone that you're dating, the first thing we do, of course, is check them out online. And so your employers are doing the exact same thing. And so make sure that whatever you're putting out there, you're willing to deal with whatever the consequences are. So if you wanna turn up online, if you wanna wear that dress or that bikini or do that bleep shot from the back, all the way from the back, <laughs> make sure that you're okay with that, right? Because your parents may see it, your great, great grandma might see it, and you know you don't want that. But if you do, just be willing to deal with the consequences. For me, I think about even just the brand that you want to build online. Aside from what you put out there and portray, you also want to have a consistent message. So I think about me, for example, I was very intentional a couple of years ago. I went from having a big, what I felt was brand that I was building around empowerment and service and helping people, which are all of my core values, all the things that I do naturally in life. And I made a very intentional shift to business because at the end of the day, I knew that I wanted to propel myself in business to do all of those things in the community that I love to do and continue to do. But business became a part of my very intentional brand shift to better position myself for the things that I wanted. And so whenever you look at my page, if you go right now to at Belisha, you're gonna see a lot of business profiles, a lot of conversations. Belisha's desk is about business. So I had to build a social media plan and strategy to get to my end result. And so also make sure that whatever you're putting out there, you're also being consistent with that theme because it's going to eventually create a brand and a persona for you that you can eventually maybe monetize, maybe sell, or and certainly uh, pitch for new opportunities. And so whatever you do, make sure that you're thinking about what you're putting out in the world because I can guarantee you, no matter what, it will come back to you. The final thing, that I'll say is that when I was interested in working for President Obama's administration and I realized that I had to have top secret security clearance. Those of you who don't know what top secret security clearance is, look it up. It is a very, very serious high level of security access that you have to work in the federal government. And I had to get it and to receive it, it took months and months of a background check, my friends were interviewed, my friends and their friends without my knowledge were interviewed. They literally went around the country and knocked on people's homes who knew me or maybe were my past landlord, past employer, just to get an understanding of who I was, not only professionally, but as a human being. And certainly they scrubbed my social media. And so imagine if there were things out there that I wasn't proud of. Imagine if there were things out there from way back that haunted me now because of that, I probably wouldn't have landed the opportunity. But the most important message in all of this is that you don't have to be perfect. Right now, no matter what you have out there, no matter what you put out into the universe and online, you can scrub it, you can, can clean it up. It doesn't mean that it'll go away forever, but you can begin to set a new footprint online for who you are that can eventually outweigh by far all of the past if you need it. I certainly have not been perfect, trust me. Not even close to it, but I've spent a lot of time making sure that all of the good that I've done definitely outweighs the bad. So make sure that you do the same, keep it clean, keep it focused, or at the end of the day, just keep it you.